Hey everybody, so I'm back. Um, I have so behind on posting vids, but I, I gotta keep going. So it's uh, April 24th now. I'm pretty sure that we'll have mystery time today. Um, but yeah, I hope everyone's doing okay. I'm, I'm hanging in there. Life's been a little rough if you've been following along, but everything in Frog, tra frog Trap is, you know, not too shabby. We'll see what happens. But yeah, I, um, something weird happened this morning. I was I was getting my computer in order. I've been having all sorts of weird sleep stuff, and um, I, I was sitting on my computer, and it, it fell over very very violently. And um, it's been making this very l loud whining noise ever since. I I think it's complaining um, or emotionally hurt from my my physical neglect. Okay, I'm not allowed to go into that room. <laughs> We're having mystery time. What the hell? Okay, I don't think I've ever done this mystery, which is odd because I feel like when I first played Magician's Quest, I played like in March and April, so I don't know how I wouldn't have made it this far. Maybe I, maybe I fell off before then, but um, well, here we are. Um, I don't know if we have any mandragores out. I guess I'll go look. I don't know what I was saying though. Oh yeah, so you know, there's ringing in my ears. There's um. A loud whining noise. I can't really tell them apart, so I'm sorry if you can hear the f the fan or the computer, or whatever it's doing. All right, yeah, we can make. We, I, I let's not date quite yet, Aurora. I I, I feel like I've, my inventory is a fucking mess. But um, anyway, things are okay with me. I'm um I'm just trying to like. Stay healthy and stuff, mentally and physically. Um, so I've been going on a bike ride every day for with my Pikmin, and that's been pretty fun, honestly. Uh, it's been a little nippy today, and my bike's acting up, but it's going pretty well. Otherwise, I'm uh, at level 59 in Pikmin Bloom, so if I hit level 60, then I'll have like the maximum squad size or whatever that means so i don't know i'm looking forward to it though i'm still tripped out that ralph moved in i just don't know what to to make of it like it's so weird that i know we've had a lot of randos and then um and then Ralph and Brett just feel like like i've always really liked Brett as a character but i, I never thought i would actually have a chance to hang out with him. And then Ralph, I like for sentimental reasons, um, very different sentimental reasons. So it's just all very strange. And I don't know how I'm gonna navigate it. I'll, I'll probably make all sorts of mistakes. So I'm, I'm sorry if so, but we'll see what happens. I don't know if Brett is the uh, possessive type or not. I, I kind of get the feeling he would be, even though he's kind of it's kind of annoying. He keeps me emotionally at a distance, but he's also, I think he'd also be offended if I actually started dating Ralph. So I don't know what to do. We'll have to figure it out. All right, do we have room for this in here? No, we don't. All right. Um, well, we already have a stone chair downstairs, so I'm, I might not need that. I feel like that's the most expendable item in here. Um, we definitely can't get rid of this bone of the lost race. Um, however, our tribal council is getting so full, like, I don't know. Okay, so let me tell you, I don't know, should they be facing down? I feel like they should, but then you can't really see them. This is so ridiculous. I love this stupid room. <laughs> All right. Well, let me tell you. I think I've told you that I've been dying for an Egypt theme in Pocket Camp. And guess what? They finally did it. Um, I'm kind of in shock. Like, I woke up to see the Twitter preview, and um, I looked at it, and it was Francine and Chrissy, and my heart shattered. I was like, not another ma month of pastels. I'm probably going to harm myself. But then um, I actually looked at the items, and it's like a touristy world traveling theme, and there is an Egypt event, finally. It's probably not a... I don't think it's a fortune cookie. We can't really tell, but... And it's not like amazing, but hey, it's it's something. And it sort of feels like 
they finally did something I wanted them to do for once, and I'm just pretty pleased as punch. Um, for once, I'm not dreading covering this month. This is nice, but it doesn't really need to be in here. I guess the Celestial Globe. It's weird, because, like... Like, I think I've said this, but the, the wall and floor are Brett's, so... And then I think I counted the items, and more of them reference Brett than Aurora, so I guess I should keep this as, like, a reference to her. I don't know if there's anything else in her room that I haven't... I mean, that I haven't brought in here. Anyway. So I did bike. It was um, a little bumpy, and I really need to eat at some point. One sec. Sorry about that. But anyway, the, the month preview looks really interesting just because, like, the whole Discord's been, like, trying to figure out what events are what. Um, but it looks like a souvenir shop, some landmarks, Egypt, an airport, a little miniature city model type thing. So I'm... I'm pretty excited for this month. I, I'm I'm really glad that they're kind of branching out. I was if they did like another stupid fucking like domestic pastel month, I just would have. I think my will to live would have exited my body finally. Not not that there's a whole lot swimming around in there, but there's there's enough that I'm sustaining myself. Hey Tony. Hey. Say, do you have a minute? You know you're a really nice guy. Would you like to be friends? No way. Huh, I see. Well, I'm not gonna lie to you. All right, blah, 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 blah. I guess, ooh, while we're here, let's check out what's up for the garage sale. But yeah, my ear, I, I finally got, um, oh. Okay, Brett's here. I still don't really want to mess with his stuff, though. Now, Rudolph, on the other hand, he I would mess with. But I, I don't know what he would... What I should really give him. <clears throat> Let's see here. Hmm, I was talking about something. What was I talking about? Sorry, having some trouble remembering anything. <sighs> so I'm pretty rich right now, so I guess I don't desperately need to... Um, all right, I, I was not paying attention to that. Okay, these are really basic things. Yellow rose or margarita or white tulip. Yeah, so I, I probably won't creature farm a whole bunch, uh, especially since I guess I, I have everything I need um, in terms of... April creatures. Like, there's one more creature, but it's not leaving. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's available now, but... Oh, I guess I should probably try out that blonde ponytail at some point, though. I don't know if I'll do that today. Maybe I will. Okay. Man, I can't believe I fucked up the style thing. I'm sorry, guys. I mean, I know y'all are probably cool with it, but Grecian Toka. But, um, I'm sorry that it, you know, resulted in some short, kind of rushed, repetitive episodes with not much going on, and then it wasn't even for anything. I probably should have tried that on first, but whatever. Um, I wonder if there's a new episode going on at the moment. I'm gonna pause. Okay, now the next episode starts on the 
28th, and it looks like a pretty easy one, just three dialogues, and it lasts until May 8th, so. But yeah. So I got a, I got a, an appointment to get my ears checked out. It's it's really bad. I mean, it's it's super loud and kind of hurts, and I'm just, uh, I'm worried, but, you know, everything I'm reading is indicating that, like, for with tinnitus, there's really not much you can do. You're just kind of fucked. So, I'm just trying to enjoy it. Get used to it. Um, you know, there's a lot of, um... Everyone says that, you know, I mean, there's there's so many sounds in the world that you learn to ignore. Um, but it's it's kind of hard when, uh, it's, it's, it's in your ear and, and this loud. But, um... Yeah, we are always going off together somewhere. All right, I can put these in. Have a nice tuna. Toga. Huh, that's kind of cute, actually. I like that. There's something kind of hot about togas. I've been, um... Oh, hey, Petra. What's up, babe? I feel like she's gonna go next and it's making me really sad. She often heard an incredible rumor about you. It caused something like this. There's something behind Kriyas and Brett's close friendship. I feel like my voice is off the other day. I know, it's just a rumor, but is it true? This is true. Really? Oh, but I better leave it at that. I mean, my popularity is based on my happy image. I don't want to get involved in sticky subjects. This in Joff. Ah, perfect timing. Just coincidence. Alright. What's up, Amber? Oh boy. Nope. Until Aurora leaves, I am... I am not going to be nice to anybody, except maybe Ralph. With the TV, you just have to press a button to let people look with you in your living room. Wait, what? Oh. It's great for those times when you want company, but no one is around. But when you switch it off again, it seems so very quiet. <laughs> it's a lonely feeling, especially when you see yourself reflected in the blank screen. <laughs> oh man. It's a little too real. Oh hey Ralph. It's mystery time. It's impossible to explain how excited this makes me feel. The best jobs are those that provide a service to others. I think working at a bank when I'm older sounds like a good idea. When I'm grown up, I'll be able to help you look after your savings. This isn't easy to say, but, but if you think you'll use up all your birthday money before then, I don't mind holding on for you until then. Well, thanks, I guess? Well, we just met, Ralph. I don't know if we're best friends yet, although you're certainly a charming guy. I wonder where Zoe is in all this. I guess I should check some stuff in storage too. Sorry, keep pausing. I'm just checking my phone on occasion. Let's see. I'm still trying to catch the King Goliath frog in Pocket Camp. I don't know if it'll work, but I'm up to ten King. Um, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm up to four King Koi, and, um, I guess I'll save this. Um, oh, and while I'm here, I might as well take out the other rooms that I shouldn't have. Okay, it's these four, because the first one is the lantern. Okay. Um, so I went to four King Koi, and the, the general structure is like 10 King Koi is has equal rarity to one King Goliath frog so like statistically I'm almost halfway there but um two years ago when I tried it, it took me 17 King Koi before I found a King Goliath frog so there's really no guarantees I'm hoping that my terrible luck last time will like transfer into good luck this time but you know there's no guarantee that will be the case um, okay. okay so this is starting to push some stuff out. We need five more things. I'm just gonna walk outside and 
grab five random mushrooms to stuff in there so we can just be done with these brooms and like our trash can will be refreshed. I don't like cheating on accident. Well, or on purpose. Um, is this the... No, she wanted a white... She wanted a yellow rose. White tulip. God, my computer sounds bad. <laughs> I'm trying to think of how old this computer actually is. Because, like... It's, it's getting up there. friendships are doing. Aurora's a little low. Brett's has reduced quite a bit because it was at 239 before and now it's at like... Well, it was at 255 and 239. I couldn't figure out what had... Oh, you know what's weird? We wrote him two letters and he hasn't even replied. Uh, well, maybe he has. I don't know. Maybe I haven't been to my room. <laughs> Okay, I am going to check my mail real quick. Do I have enough slots? Okay, yeah, I should. I really could not figure out what, what the deal was with that. It was nice to get a telegram for good buddy. Let's go and hang out whenever you're free, Brett. Oh, that's really nice. Chow, thanks for being there for me. Are you sure my name? Okay, that's Roars. Okay. I don't know, there might be a third letter, but I really want to save that one from Brett. Maybe I can get rid of one from Mikey or Grumble at some point. Alright, well, I, I guess we finished the um, little episode of... What was the episode? It was um, Daisy and Tom trying to figure out if they wanted to make out or whatever. Oh, there's a lot of berries around. I really need to... Um... Well, where the hell is Zoe? Yeah, wow, a lot of berries. I think this is going to take more than one trip, actually. Because unless I want to... Yeah. I'm not really in a good position to get rid of stuff. Anyway, sorry. I'm, I'm very scattered today. There's just a lot going on. The update thread's going to... Well, no, the update is going to come up tonight. Um, God, I feel like... The dialogue's becoming so boring because everyone is just always talking about wanting to be friends. If we're always doing our homework, then it's not really a day off, is it? So, I heard on the phone, grown-ups can be really stupid sometimes. Huh. Eric's speaking the truth for once. Fuck homework. Hey, Zoe. Ah, perfect timing. Ah, oh, it's you again. Seems like I ran into it a lot. We must like the same stuff if we're always in the same place. I guess that means we're friends. C'est une coïncidence, Zoe. I think it's more than a coïncidence, whatever. If you ever feeling about becoming friends with me, Joff, I just might give you a second chance. A lot of people say that a hobby is reading. I like books too, you know. 
you ready for this? As soon as someone tells me I have to write a report, <laughs> as soon as someone tells me I have to write a report about a book, though, should the test? Is it just me? C'est moi. Hiya, bonjour. How are you doing? <laughs> you know what I heard? Eric and Chelsea are acting suspiciously. I'm jealous of all their lovely toby behavior. But that would probably be a habit forming for me. Hmm. I'm curious if Aurora has a crush on Zoe like we have heard. Maybe we should investigate that. Do we have a red tulip anywhere? Hmm. I'm very curious. Hmm. <laughs> well, I guess I'll... I guess we can hit limelight real quick. If we can get Zoe together with Aurora, I think that'd be very hot and very French. But the problem is they're both rarely at home, and I feel like that's sort of how you'd want to do it. Man, there's too many, pretty too many gentlemen comp competing for our attention. I do like Wyatt too, to be honest. Some could say stuff like, let's find something to do. Those kids never have any, anything in particular in mind, so they won't cause much harm. But you gotta watch out for those kids who say, I've got a good idea. Alright, they always come up with stuff like weeding the school grounds or picking up trash around town. That's what makes them so troublesome. Huh? Also, I feel like my voices are really off today, so sorry. It's here! It's here! It's finally here! It's mystery time! What are you gonna do, Jayoff? Thought I'd have some fun by tricking some girls into a visit in a scary haunted house. I waited for a while, but nobody came out screaming. Apparently, the ghosts made friends with them, and they all played together. All right. That really ticked me off, so I yelled at those ghosts to sort out their priorities. But I scared them so much that they were the ones to run off screaming. All right, this is a really dumb story. Sukiyaki. I think I have that. I'm not 100% sure. I'm trying to see if there's anything I want to pawn off onto Rudolph. But nothing's really jumping up on me. Jump, jumping up on me? Jumping up at me. I guess I'll just look at the music real quick. Thanks, Aurora. I'm glad you think I'm looking good as I'm entering the elevator. But I got all the, uh, I got all the Easter Pikmin. They're so fucking cute. I love it. Moisture, day she went. Shine on me. I don't know if we have a good, like, French song. I know there's one that sounds like very Italian. It's very like Olive Garden type stuff. I'm trying to think. I really don't want to. Hmm. I really should like get my dinner plans together within the hour because some places are going to start closing. And I'm thinking of treating myself to some pizza because it's been a hell of a week or two. And I could really use it. I could really use some pizza, you know. Um. 
Oh boy. <laughs> no! So, so weird. I wonder how Ralph and Aurora would get along. My teacher said that studying isn't only about learning facts. Practice is important, too. So, Jeff, you should play cards with me. What kind of practice is that? Studying numbers, of course. This isn't easy to say, but on second thought, I guess it's important to take a break from practicing, too. So I played Everdell with my friends the other night. Um, again. And, um, I really like that game, but... I feel like... How do I say this without coming across like a total dick? I feel like I'm too good at it. <laughs> and if you, the person who I was playing with, is watching, I'm so sorry. I'm so annoying with it. But, okay, here's what irritates me. It's like, I get a really good engine going, right? And then I have all this shit. Oh, we should figure out what the hell he wants from us. Oh, no, this is not right. And then I have all this shit, and then I only have, like, two slots left over at the end to actually, like, put stuff down. Because I don't really understand why there's an arbitrary limit on, like, how many things you can go in your town. I guess if you didn't do that, you'd be, like, you'd have infinite stuff. But... Hmm. Doesn't seem like people are happy with this idea. Oh, what? Jeff chases Chelsea. Let's see, it's April. Yeah, I'm not saying it's a Monday, that's what I'm trying to figure out. I don't know what day of the week it is. So I guess there's more treasure in the haunted house if I want to grab it. Love and say. Okay, this one is magic. Um Sweetheart. Yay, I remember that one. Oh, now I think I remember what I was talking about earlier. I was talking about Sonic Shuffle. I feel like that is such an underappreciated game. Like, I love the game so much. I, I honestly think it's one of the best board games, like board game video games of all time. Oh, I'm gonna need help on this one. I think I, think I know what it is, but I just wanna make sure. Okay. Um, I just think it's brilliantly made, and yes, it is rougher on the edges, but, like, there is a lot of strategy and, like, intricate stuff to it that, like, I just think, I think people jump into it, and then they get mad that it's similar to Mario Party, and then they don't bother to learn the, all the ways that it's different from Mario Party, they just assume it's the same game, and that they put no thought into it, and then they miss all the nuance, and, like, all the different little mechanics and stuff, and then they just get mad at it when the game screws them over. And I get it, it, it is a tough game, but it's... Okay, let me see if I can remember this. Um, I think it's this, then Star, then Angry? That doesn't seem right, but I'm gonna try it. Oh, Amber forgets already. But, I mean... Yeah, that's the thing, it's like every, every Let's Play that I find of it, I mean, I found a pretty good one um, by a channel called, like, The D-Pad or something. They, I mean, they, they hate it, mostly, but they at least still, like, take the time to learn some of its mechanics. I could almost cry. Um, so, it's better than most. There's a lot of Sonic Shuffle videos that really kind of bum me out just because... It just feels like they don't give the game a, like a proper shake or like take any time to learn 
just because it's 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 a weird game like it really is but um so i mean i feel like that's a that's like an under loved game that i would love to put on my channel too i mean if i ever f finish this let's play which maybe i will one day maybe i won't um i really need a red tulip but i feel like we're so low on flowers lately um i'm just giving them all away Zoe looks so, like, Princess Peachy. Man, everyone is just on my ass. Plus, also, it's, it, you know, it is a party game, so it would, it would feel weird if I did a Let's Play and then just did the single player mode, I guess. I mean, maybe that wouldn't be weird. It, it always feels a little weird to me, though. I don't think stuff like... Oh, here's a red tulip. I should just grab it now while I'm here. I just feel like, um, you know... Single-player-oriented games like this... I mean, this has multiplayer, but it's not really a big part of it. Or Pokemon or whatever. And, and stuff that I can like actually bring my own flavor to is, is a better candidate for... Um, a let's play, but God, there are some games that I really just want to be like, people need to know how good this game is. I mean, not that anyone's going to like look at, like not anyone's going to find my channel and like actually change their mind about the game or whatever, but, um, it's just sort of like, I, it's sort of like with Magician's Quest. I just felt like, I just feel like there needs to be more videos of and about it on YouTube by people who actually like the game. And I'm hoping that this Let's Play adds a little bit to that, and I know that, you know, there's already really good footage on here. Like, Stream Friends did a really cool Let's Play. I think they've done the later games, too. But, um... But, yeah. I know, I feel like I haven't been making enough mischief lately, and I, I do apologize for that. I need to revive my lust for antics. I've just been, uh, I don't know, it's, it's, it, ever since Grimble left, I've just been afraid of losing Aurora and, and, and I guess, like, Brett to a certain extent. So it's, um, it's a bit of a puzzle. I mean, at this point, it doesn't. It seems like as long as Aurora doesn't break up with us, we'll probably be able to keep her around at least for a while longer. I, I might be completely jinxing myself on that. I still can't believe I fucked up that stupid. <laughs> Western shoes thing. Did I even own the Western shoes? Like, did I get them out of storage or something? I don't know. I feel like I must have, but I I remember I when I first wore that outfit, I wore the stupid um. I think I wore the loafers. I must have gotten confused. I'm gonna pick up this. Uh... Oh, these uh, pink roses bloomed. That's nice. Um, I'm considering, like, I think I just bought her that. I'm considering, uh, just picking and selling that, but I don't know. I kind of wanted to hunt for a creature today, but whatever. I guess the magic tournament is fine. Oops. Um, okay, both of these are what Malila wants, so I guess I'll grab them. My friend Isaac is making a cake. I think he like made. He said he was making it up. It's gonna be like strawberry almond with like streusel or something. 
Streusel, which ironically is, uh, well, unironically, coincidentally, the uh, name of uh, Janine's character in Magician's Quest. I don't know where Brett is. Is he home? In a weird, weird way, there will be some slight element of relief when Aurora leaves, and I, I hate to say that because I feel like that'll make it happen, because I, I know I, I know on the whole I'll be devastated, but it'll be nice to sort of be able to bring the walls down with people. I'm just like paralytically afraid of anyone asking me out whenever she's trying to ask me to stay at this point, just because the whole Grimble um, ordeal was so traumatizing. Okay, I'm sure this is from, uh, Mr. Graves. Yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. Yeah, if I, if I get hungry enough, I might order some pizza in a half hour, and then I'll have to go get it, and then I'll have to go eat it, so that'll... <laughs> that'll take up some time. Um, okay. Do I... I think I have, like, plenty of room in here now. Man, I'm so confused what's the deal with the, uh, western shoes, if I, if I own them or what. I hate when the mushroom appears, like, in a place where you have to put stuff down. Oh my god, I had a feeling someone was gonna come over, just because I was moving stuff around. Is it Chelsea again? Five bucks says it's Chelsea. She will not leave us alone. Oh, it's Petra. She's supposed to deliver to my room a little while ago. It's valuable, but I'll split it with you, Geoff. I hope you'll thank me later. What a doll. Literally. Moondrop. Okay. Oh, that's another thing about Sonic Shuffle. They have, like, all sorts of cool gem names, like Moondrop and... Waystone and stuff like it's just it's like poetry like the, the the interesting names they come up with in the game and I'm not even shitting you. I really like it But yeah, I don't know there's not a whole lot to gain by let's playing that solo, but I don't know I'm also annoyed because I love the Chow character, but like he's the only character that doesn't have a movement bonus. I know this is just gibberish. No one has any idea what I'm talking about, but trust me, it's annoying. All right, um, what else am I doing? There's one other thing in my in my dorm that I wanted to do. Maybe I wanted to have a wet dream. I don't know. I will probably do that at some point today. I have to schedule it. Um, okay. I'm just curious if you have the Western shoes is all. Yeah, we do. I just didn't get them out of here because I'm dumb. How, how did that happen? Or did I or did I take them out and put them back? I don't know, but either, either way, the, the verdict is I'm dumb. I'm not a fan of that maneuver of mine at all. Alright, well, I'm gonna go in here and see what, uh... I kind of want it to be about Zoe and Aurora, but I don't, I don't think it will be. It's probably gonna just be like, Aurora has a positive impression of you, or something like that. But yeah, I think the first time I played Everdell... Oh, what is it? It's Playboy Toilet or something. I think. Um, 
The first time I played Everdoll, I think I got like 30 or 40 points or something. And this time I got 66. It was fucking crazy. And I didn't, and like that was without, like if I just had one more space, I would have gotten, I would have been able to get like 10 more points. It was really annoying. Like I'm annoyed that you can't like discard stuff or anything. Like if you really want to. And there's like some cards that let you discard stuff, but like... Oh, wow. That's weird. Aurora doesn't seem to like Ralph at all. Huh. I would have thought she'd have more problem with Brett. Interesting, interesting. Alright, I'm starting to get hungry enough that I'm thinking of just ordering. I'm, I'm starting to get so hungry that I'm not hungry anymore, if that makes sense, and that seems like a dangerous zone to get into. Just because I'm not feeling that great, so I, I need fuel for my body. Alright, let's see if we can find bread. Well, I'm gonna sell these other three berries first. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna sell these mushrooms first. something for you to buy. Yellow rose. And then these. I do have pizzas in the freezer. You know, it'd be way cheaper to do that. Anyway, I'm sorry, I'm, uh, I don't know, I just feel like I'm not paying attention to the game at the moment. Alright, um, should we try to... Alright, I think I'm gonna... I don't think I'm really gonna mess with the garage sale. I don't really want anything of Rudolph's and I feel very indifferent to him. Um, like there's nothing really that I think I need to give him. Not that I think he would accept it anyway. So I'll probably just hang with Brett a bit. Um, maybe see if I can, maybe just see what Aurora's up to. Very curious about this, uh, her early dislike for Brett. I feel like characters usually like the characters that they live near, but, um, I guess that's not the case always. the ice items, but I don't really like that wardrobe, I'll be honest. Ah, oh, yes. Getting such good cash lately. I am thinking I'm gonna keep blonde hair now. It's, it's definitely growing on me. I think it just sort of was jarring because... It looks so different and like, it looks so put together compared to all my other chaotic hairstyles. But I do like it. And I'm sure it's gonna look good with a bunch of different stuff. Zoe a bit more. 
It's like it's annoying because you have to always get through the first friendship conversation where they'll talk with you about something real. Aurora and Chelsea are relaxing together in the park. So they'll probably be together forever. But I have to treat everyone the same. Oh, she sounds jealous. Petra was seen in front of the school and was using really weird stuff. Ah, but I better leave it at that. No one wants to get involved in sticky subjects or scary stuff. excited for the update tonight. I just... May looks so fucking good. It just has a bunch of stuff I've been waiting for. Like, more ruins, more, like, Egypt. And it has, like, all these little gyroid items that I really like. And I didn't think that they were gonna put them in the game again. But, like, last year, there... I think last year, May or June, there was this, um... This, like, little detergent gyroid bottle that I just loved. And I... It's so fucking cute. And, um, they're actually making it into a real furniture item that you can like decorate with it's little things like that that really make my day all right um i'm feeling a little like hedonistic so maybe this maybe this robe is actually good for me <laughs> like maybe it expresses my true self <laughs> maybe this is like what i've been waiting for um but what do I want? Do I want dirty pants with it? That seems a little too much. I think we want pirate pirate pants, right? But I think those are in the um I think those I've put in the bank, because I'm dumb. Do we have any other brown pants? I know we have explorer pants, but that's too light. Side for a better look. That doesn't work. That's not bad, actually. I might just settle with that. I really don't want to go back to the bank again. Let's just do explore pants. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I spend I I put too much uh stock in what I'm wearing. But hey, it's a fun part of the game, so sue me. I think I'm still gonna check out the, uh... I feel like I'm in a karate uniform, you know? And I feel like I'd rather be more like, I'm heading to a party with like orgies and a vomitorium. It has been a while since we got Brett and Aurora together for a threesome. It's really important to be able to go to your local bank in order to get pants that feel you that make you feel like your true self, like you're going to a Greek orgy. Um, 
I think that's something we forget in today's society. I'm gonna try these chino pants, whatever that means. I feel like... I don't know why, but like, I think it's because I don't know what chino pants really are. But whenever I read it, I always think it's like a racial slur. I know it's not. <laughs> Which is funny because I'm very not sensitive about that stuff, but like it feels like it is. You know, I actually really like that. It's a good combo. That's a little too barfy. Okay, I'm really between these two. Yeah, there's something about this. It almost looks like I'm not wearing pants. It's very, very erotic. I'm gonna go with this. Oh, no, no. Um, oh, no, wait. I want explore pants. Bring them back. I'm still running out of room in my stupid wardrobe. I don't know what to do about it. I really wish you had more room. I shouldn't have to resort to the trash can all the time. Yeah, look at me! Alright, sorry. I... don't know why I get so sexually suggestive about these chibi little characters. Oh, she was using weird... <laughs> Might be. I, I wasn't doing it, it was Zoe! <laughs> okay. All very weird. Alright, well, I'm thinking of uh, hopping off and ordering some pizza. I don't know. It's like I, I'm so hungry that I'm, like I said, I'm not really actually that hungry anymore. But it could be good just to have some extra food around. Um, I'm gonna grocery shop and I probably shouldn't be super hungry for that. Even though I'm literally just clicking some buttons on walmart.com. Is Rudolph home? Because I don't... Oh, I guess he's at the beach. I don't know if Brett and my, me still have our rooms linked. Yeah, like, I can't possibly change his hammock. I... I could, like... Yeah, I just don't want to mess with it. Hey, Brett. I'm trying to talk to you, but the game won't let me. I have a gift for you. I always hang out before I actually get to give him the thing that I want to give him. Okay, that seemed to help things. I'd really like to open my own martial arts dojo in the future. If I start training seriously today, I should have no problem reaching my goal in a few years. Don't you think that? And all the people around here, I'll never be in short supply of training victims. Love it. Okay, now for some reason... Oh. He was about to ask me to hang out. Okay. Well, now for some reason, talking to him is raising our relationship level. I have no idea what happened last time. I... I I doubt that the game knocks you that much just for writing someone the word stupid. Maybe it was something else, but I, I don't know. I'll try it later. I'll, I'll, I'll write a letter to someone else that says the word stupid in it and see what happens. Rudolph is not anywhere. I mean, he's in the rod sale, but that's not a real place, you know? Oh my god, it took me 18,000 years when I finally found the habitat builder in Subnautica Below Zero. They really make you fight for it. Like, I cheesed, like... I don't, I don't want to, like, spoil it or anything, so I'm, I'm going to be vague, but, like... 
basically there there was a way that you're supposed to get to the area and I did not go that way. <laughs> I just like hopped onto the tundra and just like walked directly to it and there were invisible walls stopping me. But I just kept trying to find a hole in the invisible wall and I finally found one and I, I got to the place. It was so dumb though. <laughs> And like, as far as I can tell, that's the only habitat builder in the game. And so you have to go to that particular spot in that particular way. And I was just never going to figure it out myself. I guess we do a little fishing. Ah, oh, shit. These fish are really tough. I can't remember because these are Mega Mouth Sharks. Oh, no. Don't even... Don't even start, Skyfish. I'm not bothering with your bullshit again today. You can just go right on by. I don't care. Got it. Oh, huge. That's a good one. But it's going to be valuable. I love those guys. Fuck off, Skyfish. No one even wants you. You're weird. Not even Mr. Graves, apparently. See, I want to talk to him more and get that level up, but... I don't know. That didn't help. I don't know. It's weird. I just don't get it. I guess I'll take him to Limelight, too, see if that helps. I think it's the second value that's our... That's our, like, our, our male fraternal <laughs> friendship, so... That's the one that matters, and that's the one that is low, I think. I don't know, I can never tell. Ew, I hate this song. budget either. Maybe it's reaching an another cap or something. I don't know. We're gonna have to bust that cap. Um, I guess it can't hurt to do the tree today. It's starting to just feel like such a waste of time, though. Like, it, it, we're never gonna get our stupid, uh, stupid town status into anything good. I wonder if they want to gossip with each other. Hmm, I guess not. I'm always wondering what their relationship is. It's very 
hot and cold. It's not even hot and cold. It's it's more like warm and cool. It's never really reaching the fervent temperatures. You know, they say hate is uh is a much more powerful. It's, it's much means it means you care about the person more than indifference. I don't know if that's actually true or not. Probably not, but. Um, see, I'm just like, I'm running out of room to put trees, honestly. Or room that I think one will successfully grow. I'm gonna have to remember that. I don't know if we should try to do secret saving again. That was a bit emotionally uh, saddening. How could the Maylilies never look like they do in the icon? They look like little, like tiny little frilly berry petals in real life, but then in the uh, in the inventory they're like bell shaped. I should look them up and see what they actually look like and see if that um, reveals anything. Um, gotta get rid of this. And then it looks like there's. Oh, okay, now the tree is just making a weird pattern. I should figure out. So I understand that the roses grow pink in the. Um, in the forest, but I, there's, you know, three other places you can plant the other, you know, the, the tulips, the marguerites, and the may lilies, and I don't really know where that is. I think, I'm just spitballing here. I think the may lilies grow orange in the fungi forest, um, the marguerites grow black in the cemetery, and the tulips actually grow blue in the cave, um, but I'm just I could be completely wrong here. I'm so scared to mess with this room because we're getting um, good feedback. And apparently that's going to matter next month. Oh, wow, that shot our friendship up to max. Holy shit. The power of a tea party. Anyway, so I guess I'll, I'll get in, I'll, I'll take Brett into this room and we'll just um, hang out for a little bit. Uh, I'll probably pause it and order some pizza and then um, we'll see where we are after that. I really want to get wings too, but is it just me or are boneless wings always so overpriced? It feels like they should cost like six bucks, but every where it always charges like ten dollars for like a few wings i don't get it it's like like maybe it takes a lot of work to debone them or something but it's seriously just like chicken nuggets with sauce am i totally crazy here let me know what you think about this because it's like really been bothering me lately all right um actually before we before we move on Let's just like hang out, Brett, and uh, if you want to take a nap too, that's cool, but I think I'm gonna take a little nap up here and uh, just see what happens, see how I'm feeling. Um, is that the right one? Okay. Oh, oh. <sighs> okay, <laughs> Sorry, that's fucking disgusting. <laughs> <But> <laughs> yeah. 
Yay! <laughs> we succeeded in using the wet dream incantation. Aw, I, I feel so much closer to Brett now. But he disappeared. That's so creepy. <laughs> That's really weird. <laughs> I remember, didn't that happen last time when I did it with Aurora and she like disappeared as well? But then she like comes back if you... Okay, if, yeah, he was in there all along or something. That's very unsettling. I wonder how how weird he, how he was by that. It's always a little awkward when you have a wet dream when you're having a sleepover with a friend. And like, I mean, I don't know. I guess usually they don't notice, but... Anyway, it's maybe not the most polite topics of conversation. Stayed up late last night and then couldn't get out in time this morning. It set a ton of alarm clocks too. When I finally got up, I noticed they're all broken. Who would have done such a thing? <laughs> That's something I'd do. Well, maybe not, but... Petra was seen in the quadrangle. was using weird stuff. I think so. If they're keeping secrets to me, they better hurry up and spill the beans. Alright, well... I don't really know what you want to do. Like, if you want to chill in here, Brett... Guess we can just play some darlin' oh darlin'. Check it out. This is really delicious, but it is so fucking expensive. I mean, I figure I can sort of do it to treat myself, but... Oh god, I really gotta call them soon. They'll be closed at 9. It says they're busier than usual, according to Google. Well, I still have a little time. It won't take them that much time to make it, and then I can pop in right before they close. I'm also really annoyed because we went to this nice restaurant. Uh, I went with my, my friends to this. I mean, it's like it's like a chill restaurant. It's sort of like Ruby Tuesday's caliber, but not like really a chain. But um, I should have just gotten a burger because the burgers are so fucking good. But I got a salad, and it was the worst salad I've ever had in my life. I know that's not really like interesting conversation, but oh god, what do I want here? Do I, like, do I want just one pizza? That seems lame to get. I don't know. Alright, I'll be back in a little bit. Peace. Alright, I'm back. <laughs> it's like an hour and a half later. I had pizza, and I watched some Lodge 49. I'm up at the second to last episode, I think. I'm kind of sad it's ending. I mean, the show ended years ago, but I'm just getting caught up on it now. Anyway, so it's 10.15. I'm guessing Aurora has gone to bed, which is kind of a bummer, because that was most of the fun times I... Well, I don't know. I didn't. I don't know if I had huge plans with her, but... Anyway, I don't know exactly what to do. Um, I know the Pocket Camp update will probably be online in a couple hours, so I... And I, have, I do have a bunch of episodes I want to try to finish work on and get up pretty soon. I think it's been like a week since I put on, put up my actual last episode, even though I've been recording throughout. Oh, I forgot. I haven't brought anyone in. Alright, do I have room in here? I don't. I don't know, maybe I should get rid of these car like pilot pants. I really rarely, I feel like I rarely use them. They're very dark blue and they, they don't really go with the vibe of what I usually wear. 
I'm not sure about this blue down jacket. The, like, the more I think about it, the more I, I'm sure that Aurora doesn't wear anything like that. So... Yeah, I guess I'll go with this for now. Oh my god, that was some of the best pizza of my life. I just needed it, like, spiritually, you know? <laughs> Do you ever feel that way about food? I kind of wish I'd gotten Alfredo pasta with it, though, but I just had some homemade last night, so I didn't really feel like, you know, buying my own. <laughs> but... I had some watermelon, too, that my friends brought over the other day, and it was, like, all pre-cubed and sliced, and so, like, for the past couple days, it's just been, like, sitting in its own juices, and it's, like, gotten this weird, like, gelatin-like texture. It was pretty interesting, but surprisingly edible. Alright, so let's see. What else do we really need to do today? I'm guessing Ralph is in bed now. Um... I mean, I'm guessing really mostly everyone's in bed. Hey, Amber. I don't know if there's anything in the pond at this time. Oh, I guess there's something. I'm curious. I might do a little fishing before bed just for fun. I don't really need the money, but... Oh, it's just a frog. Okay. Sorry, Brett, I'm not interested anymore. I feel like every time I see a tulip now, I have to water it because I feel like they're in short supply. I guess Marguerite's too, to make sure I, I stay good with Aurora. <sighs> oh, we're catching in a rendezvous view between Eric and Amber, although it's turning into a rendezvous with Eric and me, which is not what I want. Um, oh, I wanted to like farm 8 billion emeralds last time. I guess it was because I was on the outs with Brett, but um, I don't really know if it's worth it anymore. Especially because I was having a really hard time finding any legendary uh, mushroom, like hero hero mushrooms. I think I'll just, um, I think I'll just do some fi like ocean fishing, I guess. Anyway, I'm really sorry if you can hear my computer whining. I, I, I feel I was downstairs eating pizza and I could hear it, so I'm, I'm guessing you guys can hear it now. But I can't get a new computer right now, so it's just gonna be one of those things, I guess. Unfortunately. What is this one? Oh yeah, I don't need that. I think Aurora's down vest is like the pink and orange one. So I'll see if I can get that. And I guess I'll swap out these things now. all sorts of ores next mystery, so maybe I'll save the, the phosphorus ore I just got. Apparently you can just use like cheap ass shitty ores, so. Ooh, an emerald. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, I should save some of these. I should look at the giant sea creature, see if it can get ores in general. So I'm trying to figure out if I should only collect like large things when I when I um 
do my ocean fishing. Let's see. Oh, get in there, Geoff. I don't know, not nothing. So I think I'm reaching the point where I'm about to overtake the um the mysteries that I did in um in Smelton's file, because I, I think I I passed the um I, I did the mystery circle one with him and then I encountered the next one but I didn't finish it. I like it was kind of a weird, funny one, so I, I think I just, like, had it as the last episode, but I didn't actually solve the mystery. Um, so. Of course, this, this one is going to be the April mystery, which I've never done before, so it'll be interesting to see. I think I'm going to check out uh, Rudolph's stuff again. Or just, like, see if I can coax him out, because I don't think I've actually talked to him today. I'm just like so anxious, like this, um, I'm just ready for like life to get back to a little more normal, I guess. And, uh, I, I sent a text earlier today and I haven't heard back, but I think it's going to be a negative response and, you know, that's, that's life, but I am just kind of anxiously awaiting that. I'm also like anxious about this pocket camp update, to be honest. It's multifari multifarious? Multi... I don't know what I'm trying to say. Now don't leave, Rudolph. I need to... I want to find out your sweetheart. I'm sure he's already gone. This game is just gonna like poof him. Oh, here he is. Okay, he likes Chelsea. That's weird. He likes Chelsea too? Ew. I bought some new furniture the other day, but it looks a lot bigger in my room than it did at the store. Don't you think that? I believe Mr. Picard at Harris has some explaining to do. <laughs> That's pretty good. So I don't. I guess we're not like technically hanging out anymore, or something. I kind of want to some more though. Not with Eric though. Um. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just. Uh, hmm. I don't know how to handle this. I would hang out with someone else other than Brett, but, like, I don't think anyone else is going to, like, like, actually stick it out. Oh, that's weird. I thought it would have, like, glitched out and... Because usually if you don't, like, properly end a hangout and you try to do it again, the character, like, thinks you're ending the hangout. I don't know. It's weird, but... Alright, let's get some stuff. Hopefully, hopefully a couple emeralds. Well, at least like one. I'd, I'd take one. I guess I don't really need them. It's just some insurance if things go south of Brett again. But I guess if things aren't really high stakes until he gets closer to, uh, I don't know what I'm saying. Man, these sharks are so difficult. Very big. All right, that's positive. Mm, Trilobite, that's the other one I need to look up more info on. It might even be the exact same schedule though. Medium. <sighs> yeah, it, it, mm, I think it is the same schedule. Medium's an orange May Lily, which I. I and mean, that's not. It's only like 200 though. It's not very good.
Okay, well, huge is worth it, obviously. Uh, yeah, these are the exact same schedule, so I can just leave this open and keep an eye on it. How my computer's not just gonna heal over at some point, though? Small as a giant fish bone. I feel like we can go without that. Ooh, yes. Come to Papa. That was a nice easy shark. One of these days I'm going to have everything memorized, just watch. Not really, but... Quite big as a pink rose, I don't think we really need that either. Was this first trilobite a medium? Because I, I really... I really don't need that. Okay, there, there, a skyfish I could just pass by. I was I was pausing to reply to a text, and then I heard one go by. It's kind of interesting. I thought they were only at the beach, but I guess they're at Lover's Point too. But I guess it's not gonna come across the bottom screen anytime soon. Anyway, though, off topic, but like, I, I mean, I guess if you're, if you get a certain way at Everdell and you end up with like too many resources, I guess that's what the expansions are for, because it gives you like more stuff to like, like put your extra resources into, converting them to points, but I don't know. I'm having trouble. Like, whenever I look at these games and then I look at, like, and they have, like, eight expansions, I look at the expansions and then, like, it's always the expansions I'm least interested in that get the best reception and vice versa, so I can never tell. Plus, I don't actually own the game. It's my friends. Otherwise, I might get it and, like, play single player or something. Big. I feel like we're getting some good stuff here. I don't think we're getting any more emeralds at the moment, but I'm not complaining. I think I'm gonna mostly try to. I'm mostly gonna just try to get sharks. So if I see small ripples, I might just pull back. It's very satisfying to have just like a like pockets full of sharks. There's that skyfish being a prick. I don't know, I feel like we could get to more some, some more social mischief, but I don't really know exactly what to do. I don't really... No. I'm surprisingly indifferent to this particular cast. I mean, accepting the ones we like, of course. And I am fond of Wyatt. I'm just a little hesitant to jump into things while we already have such a great boyfriend, I don't really want to um, screw things up with Brett. I don't want to make him jealous. Wyatt is cute, though. I'm trying to work on my southern drawl, but I think I need some work. Oh, shit. I got this on accident. I 
I've been watching uh, season four of Succession also um, as it comes out. Um, that's a that's a fun show. I know everyone's like jizzing over it right now, and I hate to like join the crowd. That's the thing is like if everyone's into something, I have to be like, no, I'm too cool for that. But um, it is fun. It, it um, I recommend it to my brother, and um, my brother is like not into these business dramas, and I'm usually not either, but. Succession has like this like like goofy energy. I think my brother actually said, and it's a very it's a very good descriptor. It's 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 a business drama, but it's not afraid to be kind of wacky. I think it's partially because of Will Ferrell's involvement. Will Ferrell's an interesting guy. He does like these projects that I guess I would call them like secret comedies. Like he did this Lifetime movie called like A Deadly Adoption or something. And it's like a total parody of Lifetime, but like, it plays it so straight that if you watch it, you don't... You can watch it fully never realizing it's a parody. <laughs> because it plays it so straight. And then at that point, it's like, is this actually a parody? I mean, I've seen clips and I'm like, yeah, like, I, this really is, but, you know. I do miss, like, Lifetime movies. Like, um... A few years ago, I was working at a big box retailer and I just hated my life. And um, every now and again, I would just go over to my friend's house. It was a brother and sister. And um, they would always have on the worst trash, like The Bachelor or a Lifetime movie. And they were so dumb. Not not my friends, the, the shows and the movies. But it was fun to just shut your brain off for a while. You know? Watch a movie about a psychotic dentist assistant who whose obsession goes too far. I mean, some of those movies are actually kind of surprisingly good. I liked, um, what was it? I, I watched it with my friends in college. It was called, like, Deadly Spa or something. And then I think, I think they made, like, 20 other deadly somethings. Deadly Yoga Retreat or something. So good. I'm not getting much in terms of sharks. I think that's a copper ore, so I'll save it for the mystery. Hmm. I don't know. I might wrap up, but I feel like I didn't do anything this episode, you know? It was like a maintenance episode, which I don't like. I guess I have... I, I, I After that streak, it's hard to, like, you know... Get your joie de vivre back into the game or whatever. I'll get there. Just give me a little bit, I guess. I guess. Maybe I'll go on a quick little date with Petra if she's still up, just to show her that I care. And then I want her to stick around. The problem is that if I ask her to be friends, I'm worried she's going to ask me out immediately, and then... See, I'm not worried if she blocks her own departure. But if she blocks Aurora's departure, it's going to get ugly. Here we go. Oh, that was weird. It, I, I kept waiting for it to pull back and it didn't. Anyway, so I'm trying to figure out where to build my base in Subnautica Below Zero. I guess I can't really talk about this without any spoilers, but there's this one location I really like. It's, it's kind of weird that the game has it, because it really doesn't feel like it belongs in an Arctic game, but it is very pretty, and so I think I'll pick there. I haven't, like, really... I really haven't found anything in the game that I, like, 100% love like I did in the first game yet. But it's still fun. I just... It's... It, the world feels way smaller than in Subnautica 1, which is sad because I already felt like Subnautica 1 was too small. Like... I get you can have an infinite game, of course, but... Um... It's just a little 
odd, like... It's an ocean exploration game, so I just feel like there should be endless amounts to explore. And I, I, in Subnautica 1 there really is, but Below Zero just feels... something about it. It, it really feels smaller, like I'll, If I turn, I'm like, oh, I know I've already been here like eight times already, and I know there's nothing here. It's just kind of, uh... I don't know. I'm hoping that there's a lot more to it that I just haven't seen, but I already, like... I've already very easily, like, gone over the edge of the map on accident, and that's always terrifying in Subnautica, but... I don't know. I would love to do a Subnautica playthrough for this channel, but, like... Like I said, I, I would rather do games that I that either really don't have playthroughs online, or that, like, I can at least do my own spin on. And it would just be a normal Subnautica playthrough. I wouldn't even know how to do an unusual one. Like, in Breath of the Wild, I can do, like, a mushroom-only run. Um, and that's fun, but you can't really do that in a specific <laughs> I mean, maybe you could? I don't know. Not mushrooms only, because like, yeah, I don't think you can eat mushrooms in Spinonica. There might be a mushroom somewhere that you can eat. That would be very difficult, actually. All right, there's an emerald for us. All right, let's go. All right, I guess after this I might hop off. I don't know. I'm trying to think if there's anything else crazy I can do, but can't really think of anything. Maybe I will try to go on a date with Petra though. I think is I think if you're not friends, you can't actually ask them to go on a hangout. They have to ask you. So. Should we bully Chelsea just because Brett likes her? I feel like we should. Although, will this sour us with Brett? I don't know, or will Brett be like, is that a thing where it's like, it's okay to pick on your cr crush because it like hides your true feelings? But I even know you're not allowed to take food you haven't paid for. You know what I'm saying? So it off really good. Until I realized the shop was giving out free samples. Oh, that was so embarrassing. I wonder if Brett can, uh... Oh no, what if I'm too smelly to get married now? You'd really be in trouble then. I, I think Brett can... Oh, is he having second thoughts because he likes her? It doesn't seem like he... That's crazy, we just made her fart and she's asking if we want to be friends. Chelsea, that's just sad. You shouldn't be so nice to people who make you fart. You're gonna depress me. I want to see if Brett will do this. It always takes a long time to start doing it. Oh, there we go. Nice. Way to go, Brett. I'm proud of ya. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, she likes Eric. This is all weird. Well, that doesn't look like it damaged my relationship with Brett, which I thought... I thought it usually does. Weird. Oh, well. Well, we got away with it. Hey, Wyatt, what's up? Hey, Geoff. What's low down? Have you heard? Everyone is saying... Geoff and Roar saw fireworks. At least that's what people are saying. Is it true? I think so. Really? I thought it was just a rumor. Oh, I didn't know there was a fireworks show recently. Uh-oh. No, it's gonna happen. Oh, Brett. You trickster. <laughs> Bye, Wyatt. Oh, I love Brett so much. Sometimes you just need a little bullying to get your blood pumping. Oh, I didn't fill up my pockets. Oh, well. I'll be right back. Okay. Pretty decent, uh, jumble of stuff. Uh, 
gonna store my ores at the bank and uh I really don't know how many you need for this mystery. I'm sure it's nothing I wouldn't be able to raise myself separately, but Okay. Okay, we got some iron. Maybe we can dig up some tin in the cave or something. Yeah, let's just do that now. I mean, why not? I know it's mystery time, so it's kind of a waste to go in the cave, but... If I end up with too much uh, stuff, I can trash a gem or two temporarily. It's really hard for me to realize that um, Tears of the Kingdom is coming out in like three weeks. Like I'm not ready to play it all. But I, I guess I'll want to play it to avoid spoilers. I'll, I'll probably want to play it right away. No, it's, um, no. It's secret then secret, okay. Thing. I feel like there's so many cool fossils that don't do anything. <laughs> it would be so cool to like actually like oh a subterranean bone. There's some I feel like these reference different mysteries. Which is interesting. Um, it would be so cool to, like, team up with someone in real life to make more multiplayer content, like Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles or Sonic Shuffle or whatever. Um, oh, there we go. It's weird that I, I want more worthless ores so that I don't have to feel bad about using them for the mystery. I would say copper is pretty useless. I don't really know if it has it. I mean, I guess sometimes it's... Ooh, one of these guys. These guys have a really good reward schedule. All right. And I don't know. I guess I'll get rid of this for now. Alright, let's get the hell out of Dodge and finally sell some of this stuff, I guess. <clears throat> oh, God. I keep thinking about how much Mario Kart grinding I have to do this week. I think I have like t 11 tracks I still need to do. Oh my god, that's like two, that's like more than one a day. And it, and it takes forever, fucking ever. I know, my life is so hard, right? I do kind of wonder where Petra is though. I kind of want to say hi to her. Like even if she's gonna go, I kind of want to let her know that, you know, we're one of her biggest fans. I do kind of miss Sammy. It was a shame that I had to take care of him. The guilt still runs pretty deep. Alright, let's sell all 
the stuff. Oh, not this. But this and this. The world thing's pretty cool, but like, what am I gonna do with it if I hang on to it? Well, I guess that'll be that. I can't think of anything else to do today. I'm gonna, well, I'll hunt for Petra a little bit and then probably hop off. It would sure be nice to get like a real performance together though. I don't know if, uh... but it doesn't seem like many people are around to do that. I got Tony here. And I think Chelsea might still be- yeah, she's here. She won't be useful though, because she plays the same instrument as Brad, because they're the same species. Um, here we have Amber with the sax. Zoe's not home, or she's in bed, I guess? I feel like 10 o'clock is too early for the idle personalities to go to sleep, but maybe not. Hmm. Okay. Well... Alright, well, Amber's coming this way. I guess we just play a little something at the school and see if anyone comes up and joins. I kind of doubt it, but we can see. I still really want, want to do electric guitar, darling, oh darling. Oh, Wyatt's here. Alright, maybe we could get something going. Wyatt, come back. Don't leave. Oh my god. Oh my god, no, wait. I didn't realize why it does this. Guys, don't leave. I'm gonna switch instruments. Just stay here. Oh, that was such a disaster. Now, now it's all, now it's all gonna be fucked up. Oh god, guys, I completely fucked that up. <laughs> I forgot why it's electric guitar. Ugh. That would have been so good, too. Alright, whatever. This is still kind of nice. Well, you know, actually, here's what I'm going to do. Magician's Quest always functions in, like, cycles and stuff, right? Or whatever. Hmm. I could sacrifice my hangout with Brett in hopes of getting Rudolph to come out. And then they'll... Then they'll both come out? I don't know. This is a wacky idea. But we'll see if it turns into anything. I'm gambling here. I'm not actually for your garage sale. I'm, I'm here to coax you out into playing music with us. And then I don't know if Wyatt's still going to be out here, but I feel like if, if, I feel like there's a chance, you know? I haven't had a really good five-person performance in forever, but I would take four. Three, maybe. Alright, let's get going here. I don't know if Rudolph even likes this enough to play with us. I guess, I guess not. This was all very poorly planned. Guys, I feel so dumb. <laughs> it's so hard to wrangle people together. Oh, this is just depressing. Was well, Brett not gonna come out either? Oh, well, here's Tony. Hi. <laughs> Brett, where'd you go? I'm sorry. <laughs> I shouldn't have stopped our hangout for Rudolph's sake. Oh, here. Brett, come on, hang out. Alright, at least we have that. Eric's kind of on his way. Tony's... I don't know what Tony's doing. I don't know where Wyatt is either. I'm hoping Eric will at least pop by. But I'd be happy with the two of us. Thanks for joining us, Eric. 
Maybe it's not so bad. Ah, oh, yes! Yes, guys, fuck yeah! I love, like, this is so interesting. I've never, I've never heard the electric guitar and the acoustic guitar together like this. And I really like how it kind of, there's like a bit of a clash with the chords, but it still kind of works in a weird way. And there's like a, there's like a minor seventh or something. I don't know, I'm forgetting my music theory, but maybe you know what I mean. I'm gonna let this play for a while though. I'm just gonna warn you, because this is fucking great. be cool if Amber came up here, but I don't think she's gonna come by. Or even Petra or Zoe, I guess. With her French saxophone. Man, I have so much pizza in my fridge. I'm never gonna be able to eat it all this week. Should I stop it yet? I don't want to stop it yet. I'm sorry if you're getting tired of it though. You can always skip through. <laughs> I, I don't think I'm gonna be doing much as, as much after this in this episode. So if you're not into this, you can, you know, <laughs> you can consider the video over probably. It's weird, it's like, I hate Eric and Petra, but like they've been around so long that I'm sort of starting to gain some respect for them. And it's right when they're about to leave, like I'm sure that they're the next move outs if it's not Aurora. So, it's kind of too bad. If I gave characters a chance more quickly, I'd probably have more time to get attached to them and actually like form a bond before they leave. Alright, well I don't think anyone else is joining us, so maybe I should hop off before too long. I was really hoping Tony or Amber would come by too, but I think we missed them. But I'm very pleased that Wyatt and Eric came. I, I, I don't know where I, I Wyatt was or whatever, but... Oh, Brett's done. <laughs> oh, no he's not. He's <laughs> he, was, he just needed a quick break. Alright, well... I'm guessing I'll take that as a sign. I don't want to wear everybody out. Thanks, guys, though. That was fucking great. Hey, Joe. Beautiful blue sky makes me happy to be alive, even though this guy is hot pink right now. What kind of girl do you think will make a good girlfriend for me? She'd have to be strong and speak her mind. But she can't be stronger than me. That wouldn't make me look good at all. All right. On second thought, I guess an average girl would be better. All right. Well, that was a big waste of my life. See, I'm just scared that the second I tell Eric that we can be friends, he's gonna ask me out every fucking day again. And I, like, I don't even mind him that much anymore, but I can't handle that. So, I don't know. Oh, that's the 11 o'clock bell.
Well, I guess that's everything I have to do today. I'm just trying to make sure in my mind, but... Um... I mean, yeah, I really don't have anything else to do. Guess let's go end things off in the, uh, in the conservatory, I suppose. Well, I think I'll stop in the love nest and, uh, just see if there's any other songs I want to check out briefly. I feel like I could go for some moisture. Or whatever they say, I don't know. Wow, there's only two songs we don't have now. It's crazy. This is a feel good song, I really like it. I don't know why, I guess it's because it's next to Mambo that, like, I feel like they're kind of companion pieces, even though they're kind of pretty different, but they have a similar, like, jungly summer kind of casual hangout fun vibe. I like moisture, but I think it's a disaster when you play it live. I, I can't remember, but that's just my what my mind is telling me. Oh, this is weird. So you can... So I guess you can move stuff in your room but you can't move stuff in a different room. Cause I want, I want to test this now. No way, I can't, I can't move anything like this either. Am I, okay. I am not crazy. Last episode, I moved things around and I was with someone, didn't I? I could have sworn I did. Like I was with Ralph or something and I was, I was still moving my furniture around. I'm so confused. I don't think our roommate link works anymore. Yeah, what the fuck? How many times do I have to do this fucking thing? Is it like, does it get reset every week or something? I don't know. Also, did we ever get the haunted house treasure and what was it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go back in the footage because I feel like I looked for it. I don't know if I found it or not. <laughs> anyway. All right, well, I guess I'll leave it off here. Um, actually, no, I'm gonna go back in the love nest. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I get very particular. Or, yeah. But yeah, um, like I said, I'm, I know probably the Let's Play hasn't been super exciting lately, but I really do appreciate it if, um, well, I appreciate anyone checking out in any capacity, you know, whether they fall off or, um, stay tuned or, or just stopping by. It just means a lot to be able to share this game with folks, and I hugely appreciate it. I know I'm always talking about irrelevant shit and my own health problems and all sorts of weird stuff, but, um, it, it really does make my day better to, uh, be able to make some vids for you guys, so I always appreciate anyone uh, being a part of that for sure. Anyway, I hope you're doing well. Um, it's sort of uh, springtime, and we're getting, we're starting to get towards the end of spring into summer a little bit. So I'm hoping that uh, 
you know, if you're in the northern hemisphere that you're enjoying the warmer weather and that, uh, yeah, just that you're doing well. Life's just fucking crazy and, uh, who knows why the fuck anything happens, but maybe it'll all make sense one day. Until then, we have our magic lessons here at Frog Drop Magic Academy to, uh, remind us that there's always a little more to life than meets the eye. All right, well, I'm going to sign off, but take care and bye for now. Um, hope to see you again next time or whenever. <laughs> and uh, Sonic Shuffle is extremely underrated. All right, that's all I have for you today. Bye now. Peace. <laughs>